people. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire probably presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, this is the official post fight review for Javante Davis versus Isak Cruz. Javante Davis wins a, a, a very hard, very well earned, unanimous decision victory. But man, I don't know how anybody could watch that fight and like just say that Javante Davis is head and shoulders above everybody. I mean, he's a good, he's a very good fighter. Um, but I mean, I had a draw. I thought Isa Cruz fought a really good fight. I thought Isa Cruz, um, as far as pressure, was putting some great pressure on Tank. You know, it was the rib dinner special for the majority of the fight. Uh, had some very tight defense. Um, yes, there were a lot of rounds in the fight where Tank boxed well and showed more of his uh, his craft. But man. You know, a lot of people that don't like Tank, like his detractors, they question his power. For people who really know his resume, they know that he's been fighting these guys that are 122 pounders, 126 pounders. They know that he fought uh, Herman Mraz, and Herman Mraz took him the distance. That same Herman Mraz fought Juan, uh, Gaia Estrada, and Gaia Estrada iced him, destroyed him, you know, knocked him out. And Gaia Estrada is a little 15 pounders, you know. So Tank's power is it is it good? Yeah, it's cool, but it's always been. For anybody who really knows his resume, it's always been a question. And this is only the second time he fought a legitimate 35-pounder. And he didn't look like the one. He didn't look special. He didn't look like, you know, a guy that was going to be the next pay-per-view star in boxing. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, we'll see how he develops moving forward. You know, I think Isak Cruz's stock, he's the real winner tonight. Even though he lost, like, it's a case of a guy losing but winning as far as in the court of public opinion. Because some people are going to think he won. Some people think it was a draw, like me. Um, but either way, uh, Isak Cruz, you know, Isak Cruz is, is going to get bigger fights. People, people are going to want to uh, see him fight some more, you know. And he's his reputation has been enhanced, you know. So shout out to Isak Cruz. This is a guy that, you know, a lot of people didn't give a chance. This is, this is a guy that a lot of people viewed as a cherry pick, and it was this close to being a cherry pick gone wrong. And listen. If Tank wasn't the house fighter, if he didn't have all those millions and millions and, as The Rock would say, and millions of dollars invested into him, he would have he would have probably lost the fight. So, um, you know, it's the boxing business. You know, it is what it is. I'm gonna say this about the lightweight division. I had a I had an argument today. I had an argument today with a friend, and I was talking about how I think the lightweight division is a, is a, is a it's a it's a it's a it's a weight class with a lot of talented fighters, but I think it's an overweighted weight class, and um. And I, I honestly, I can't believe this. I can't believe this statement's about to come out of my mouth. But the more I watch these guys fight, the more I'm beginning to believe in George Cambosis Jr. Um, because you know, Javante Davis. I don't think I don't think he's comfortable fighting off his back foot. I don't think he can punch off his back foot. Um, I think George Cambosis is smart enough to push him on his back foot. I think George Cambosis has a great understanding of distance and timing. I think George Cambosis has great speed. I think he's got the the strongest mentality and the strongest mind of anybody in the weight class and he showed that going on the road three straight times and beating three former world, three former world champions so um yeah just lightweight divisions really heating up you know um javante davis did what he had to do but he didn't exactly wow me he showed great speed he showed that he could box a little bit he showed some of that amateur pedigree but you know there was there was the extra bit of quality that was uh lacking in this fight and he was very fortunate to escape with a decision, you know what I'm saying? Johnny, what do you think? I thought that, uh, you know, I had it a draw. I had it a draw, and I thought that, you know, I thought that Isaac Cruz fought well, and uh, I won the C rematch, obviously. And, and it was on a short notice. It was on a short notice, right, Miguel? Yeah. It was on a short notice. So, yeah, man. You know, it'd be nice to see Isaac Cruz get a fair shake. You know, it'd be, it'd be nice to see him get the eight-week camp and, and get the respect that he earned in the ring tonight. What do you think, Ponce? What do you think about what do you think about uh, Isaac Cruz's fight tonight? Beautiful. Look at that. Man, man, a few words. Paul Ponce, Ponce. Watch out for him. Watch out for him. The next. Fight, uh, this this Saturday. This Saturday, man. Watch out for him. You know, they they talking about Mark Moxayo. They're talking about uh, Casemiro. Peter Paul Ponce, Ponce. Peter Paul Ponce, Ponce. This one you got to be talking about. So watch out for him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I, you know, I, I gotta get, I gotta get Angelo's opinion. Angelo, I need just give it to me right, right quick. Give it to me straight, man. What you think about the fight? Uh, let me see. It was just, uh, I think it was a fight that uh, that Gervonta wasn't used to fighting a smaller fighter. Yeah. Um, Cruz, you gotta give it to Cruz. Like I 
like uh, like Paul said, he's got a defense like a clam. You know, he doesn't right here in the pocket. You know, he's got superb defense. Um, Javante couldn't get through it, but uh, you know, the, the the fans were the winner for this fight, and and Javante and, and Cruz were the winner of this fight. You know, everybody won for this fight. Mm -hmm. um, Cruz's stock goes up. Uh, Javante is gonna continue to fight for another pay per view fight, and you know, it was a good fight. Yeah, good fight. I had it a draw personally. He had it a draw. I, I had, had it a draw. draw. Johnny, you had it a, you had I it a see, draw. I can see why people are saying Javante won. I can see why people are saying Cruz won. But it, ultimately, it was a good fight. Yeah, real good fight. You know, very d dramatic answer like that. Yeah. yeah <laughs> you know, but look, on that note, guys, um, we'll definitely be talking about this more in the week here on True School Sports. All right, give me your thoughts down below. Um, I know a lot of people are going to disagree. Um, but yeah, leave your comments down below. Make sure you take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take your eyes. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content interviews news videos breakdowns live fight reaction extravaganza we've got a great community of, of people here boxing fans all over the world from america to the uk to australia and on and on and on so join the empire today hit that subscribe button take care and god